Morning. Aye, aye. Our Aaron tells us that uh, you're gallivanting off on some course. Well, there's a bit more to it than that, but, uh, yeah, I am. Mm. Well, take heed, cowboy. There's a wolf on your prairie. There's a wolf in Emmerdale? Oof, there is that. And while the vet's aware, the wolf will prey. Cole's not a threat to me and Chaz. Not anymore. I know, we're only joking. Right. Well, I'd prefer if you kept your smutty little riddles to yourself. <laughs> no sense of humour, that lad. <laughs> Come on, we're all having a laugh. Yeah, Chaz is with Paddy now. Not going to stop Carlo, is it? You know what he's like. He's going to ruin it all over again. Don't worry, lad. I'll have a word. Why aren't you at work? Day off. Oh, sorry for some, isn't it? You're the one who wanted to be a farmer. Will you take these out to the caravan? What's it worth? Please. Well, what is all this, anyway? Andy might need them. Han, don't you think you're going over the top just a little bit? <laughs> Should be knitting him socks next. No, I reckon Andy's hardcore, I do. The barefoot farmer of them. <laughs> He'd probably like a scarf, though. Shut up. Seriously, though, Han, you should stay clear of him. Hey, just think. If you and Andy got married, we could live out in the caravan together. But I suppose you've already thought that one through, haven't you, sis? Oh, Adam, leave her alone. <laughs> you could be his little milkmaid. It's not a big deal, all right? Just drop it. Oh, come on, Han, I was only joking. Hold on. Hold on. What's wrong with Han? She's giving the caravan a makeover. Why? I think she's hoping Andy's going to become a permanent fixture around here. Right. I told you that caravan would be trouble. Oh, she's given him a few old pots and pans, has he? I mean, uh, Andy's had a rough time of it lately. Give him a break. You know he's a weirdo. And you know not to listen to idle gossip. We'll take Andy as we find him. Dad, can you fix the window latch in the caravan? It's come loose. All right, let me finish this first. Thanks, hey. Dad. Hey. She's making such a fool of herself. You can talk. Remember my mate Aidan Barnes used to follow around? Oh. You freaked him out so much, he had to join the powers just to get away from you. <laughs> yeah, I remember your first crush. Remember that girl with the plaits? Every time she came near you, you'd go bright red. Mr Tomato Face, your mum used to call you. Thanks, Dad. Well, there he is again, look. <laughs> now, seriously, though, you don't think this thing Hannah's got for hand is anything to worry about, do you? No, I'll pass. I don't think it's a good thing. Why? What's wrong? No one fancies you. Uh, I need that 12 mil spanner. Help yourself, mate. Do you fancy a copper? Uh, no thanks. What's Hannah doing in the caravan? Oh, I think you've got a little admirer there, mate. I guess as much. You know what teenage girls are like. Well, if it's anything like Victoria, you're in for a rough ride. Here you go. Bon appetit. Merci, il est délicieux. I'll get you a bat. This, this is just fantastic. It's not very often I get invited for lunch, you know. The boys together. Me and you, eh? You all right? Whatever. Whatever. Good to be all right. I know what this is about, you know. This is woman trouble, isn't it? I can tell by that little hand dog face you've got. No, it's not that. Don't be embarrassed. I'm just glad you feel you can talk to me. Do you have to go on this vet's course? <laughs> Why? I, I just don't think you should leave me mum here. Not while Carl's about. What's happened? Nothing. Sorry. I thought you were going to say something. I hope you're not going to badmouth your mother to me. No, I'm not. But you know what Carl's like. Now Lexi's gone, he's going to try and get back with her. Listen, I trust your mother and so should you. Yeah, it's not her, it's him. Calls in Chazzy's past. I saw him. All right, last night. They were talking. Talking's not a crime. Yeah, but that's how it happened last time. Do you want butter with your back? Yes! Go on. It was before you and her got together. I'd only just got back and things were going all right. But then I seen him kissing. I just knew she was going to let him treat her like dirt again. But she didn't. She didn't go back with him. Yeah, but she would have. I made her make a decision, Paddy. It was him or me. So 
Sounds like flogging a dead horse. Do you want a sandwich I'm making? No, thank you. Oh, come on, have another coffee. He's hardly talking to me, is he? Okay. I'm... <clears throat> I'm cancelling the trip. Why? Because the surgery's just too busy. Surgery's sorted and I've confirmed the locum. And the Bartons have got three pregnant cows due and I, I should just be there, just in case. I don't want to lose the business, do I? They're not due for months yet. I don't, um, I, can you stop that, please? Just the more I think about it, the, the more, it just seems like a bad idea. Why is that? Because my sinuses want to travel. It's hardly long haul. Would you give us a minute? Um, just reading this. Go. Cool. 